You've never powered up this much before. <laughs> His energy is skyrocketing. Now he's even stronger than when he was driving back Jiren a minute ago. But how? What is the deal with these Saiyans and their bottomless power? That light around him is very bright. Vegeta sure is getting powerful now, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am Gakui, and the show starts now. This is Absolute Cinema! Planet Beerus. <clears throat> Reese, this food is excellent. As always, you made a perfect choice. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it, Mr. Beerus. Eating well is one of life's pleasures. As Beerus and Whis enjoy their meal, a wonderful and powerful presence suddenly appeared on planet Beerus, shaking the atmosphere. What was that? It's a very intense energy. It seems we have an unexpected visitor, Mr. Beerus. A mysterious and powerful figure appeared before them, revealing himself to be a Saiyan god. I am Zoron, the Saiyan God. I'm here to challenge the God of Destruction. Hmm. Zorun the Saiyan God. There's something I didn't expect. Do you want to face the God of Destruction? It is an interesting situation, Mr. Beerus. This Saiyan God appears to be formidable. Come on, Beerus. Show me what you got. <laughs> well, we... It looks like we're in for an exciting challenge. This Saiyan God is audacious, but I will show him what it means to be a God of Destruction. The battle between Beerus and Zorin was about to begin, and the planet of Mr. Beerus became the scene of an epic fight between a God of Destruction and a Saiyan God, with the fate of the universe once again at stake. Oh, Lord Beerus! I must admit that as it's quite audacious for a Saiyan God to come directly to your planet and challenge you. This is something unusual and unexpected. I agree, Whis. It seems that Zorum, the Saiyan God, is truly determined to test his power against me. It's a peculiar situation indeed. Be careful, Mr. Beerus. We don't know what to expect from the fight with Zorum. <laughs> don't worry, Whis. I will show him the power of a god of destruction. If he is willing to take on this challenge, I am ready to accept it. Zoron and Beerus began their battle, launching powerful energies and blows against each other. The planet of Beerus witnessed an intense fight between two extraordinary beings while we watched with concern, aware of the consequences that this confrontation could bring to the balance of the universe. One moment, please! Beerus and Zorum pause their fight and look at Whis curiously. Zorum, before trying to face the God of Destruction, you should be aware that in this universe there are extraordinary powerful Saiyans. Hmm, he's right. For example, we have Goku and Vegeta, two Saiyans who have reached incredible levels of strength and skill. Hmm, Goku and Vegeta, you say? I haven't heard of them. Well... They are Saiyans who have faced unimaginable challenges and became exceptional warriors. If you want to test their powers, perhaps it would be an idea to face them first before fighting the God of Destruction. I see. It might be wise to consider this suggestion. I don't want to underestimate anyone. Hmm. It's a wise choice. Goku and Vegeta are notable warriors in a confrontation with them can give you a better idea of your own abilities. Thank you for your advice, Mr. Beerus and Whis. I'll look for these Saiyan warriors first. With this decision, the battle between Zorun and Beerus was temporarily suspended, and Zorun went in search of Goku and Vegeta to test their skills. The balance of the universe remained intact, and the challenges that awaited the future were as mysterious as they were exciting. Whis. Why did you mention Saiyans to Zorum? Is he not an enemy? Mr. Beerus, although Zorum may have determinately challenged you, he does not appear to be hostile or malicious. On the contrary, he seems to be searching for something, perhaps guiding him towards a more suitable challenge, such as facing powerful Saiyans, would be more beneficial than a direct confrontation with a god of destruction, don't you think? Hmm, I understand. Zorum may be looking for challenges to overcome his own limits rather than cause destruction. 
Exactly, Mr. Pyrrhus. Sometimes it's important to recognize when a powerful being needs guidance and help rather than combat. I hope Zorun can find what he's looking for when facing such exceptional warriors like Goku and Vegeta. You always have a wise outlook on things, please. Let's wait and see what the future holds for Zorin for all of us. With this understanding, the situation between Zoro and the Saiyans was clarified, and peace prevailed on the planet of Beerus. Zoro's journey towards challenges and growth would continue, and the balance of the universe would remain intact. <laughs> wow, well, Vegeta! This training has been amazing! The Capsule Corporation really has great facilities! I agree, Kakarot. But it's time to go to the next level. I want to fight you with all your strength. I want to see what you're really capable of. <laughs> A fight with all my strength? Is this what you want? Okay, Vegeta, you asked for it. The two Saiyan warriors prepared for fight. Their energies increasing as their transformation into their most powerful states continue to grow. <clears throat> I'm ready, Kakarot. Let's do this. All right, Vegeta. Here I come! The fight between Goku and Vegeta unfolds on an epic confrontation, with both warriors unleashing all of their powers and abilities. Powerful blows and explosions of energies fill the training ground as the two friends push each other to the limit. That's right, Kakarot! Show me what you've got! Of course, Vegeta! This is the fight we've been waiting for! The fight continued, with both Saiyans exploring their limits and challenging each other to surpass their own powers. As fists clashed and energies collided, Goku and Vegeta proved that together they could reach unimaginable levels of power. Their training journey was far from over, and the future promised even greater challenges. Vegeta, while fighting Goku, began to feel the intensity of the battle increase. He knew he needed to reach this next level of power, and then something incredible happened. A bright, golden aura began to surround Vegeta, and he unleashed Ultra Ego, his most powerful form. <laughs> this is Ultra Ego! Finally, I achieved it! Whoa, Vegeta, you did it! It's incredible! As Goku and Vegeta were about to explore Vegeta's newfound power, a mysterious voice echoed across the training ground. Nice to meet you, Saiyans. <laughs> Who are you? And how did you get here? Huh? Zoro, the Saiyan God, it's you again! Hmm. Yes, it's me. I'm here to test my skills and take on worthy challenges. And it looks like I've met two of them. Well, you've come to the right place, Zoro. Get ready to face the power of Ultra Ego! And I will fight with all my strength! The battle between Zoro, the Saiyan God, and the Saiyan Goku and Vegeta was about to begin. The training ground was electrified with the energy of those formidable warriors, and the clash promised to be epic. Hey, Vegeta! I know you're excited, but I think I should be the one to fight first. Two against one would be a huge disadvantage for Zoro. <coughs> All right, Kakarot. I will watch your fight and learn from it. Goku positions himself in front of Zoro, ready for the imminent challenge. All right, Zoron. You want a challenge? That's what you get. I look forward to seeing what you have to offer, Goku. The battle between Goku and Zoron, the Saiyan God, began. With powerful blows, rapid movements, and energy blasts filling the training field, Vegeta watched intently, eager to learn from the fight and awaiting this turn to face the challenging Zoron. The fight between Goku and Zoron began. With Zoron demonstrating surprising agility, Dodging Goku's attacks with ease. <laughs> You're fast, Zoron! <laughs> I'm just getting started! Zoron continued to dodge Goku's blows, demonstrating incredible dexterity and sharp reflexes. However, Goku didn't give up and continued to chase Zoron with his agile movements. I won't give up so easily! Goku intensified his attacks, trying to corner Zoron. But the Saiyan God continued to move with grace and avoided being hit. Vegeta, who was watching the fight, was impressed by Zoro's agility and began planning his own strategy for the imminent confrontation. 
Zorum is really fast. But I'll find a way to surpass him when it's my turn to fight. The battle between Goku and Zorum was just beginning, and both warriors were determined to do their best. The training ground was electrified with energy and quick movements and powerful attacks continued to fill the air. Vegeta, while watching the fight between Goku and Zorum, began to feel that something was out of the ordinary. He couldn't shake the feeling that Zorum's presence on Earth was strange and unexpected. This all seems so very strange. Why wouldn't the Saiyan come to Earth? Why would he? What is the real reason behind this? As Vegeta's doubts grew, he knew he needed to be prepared for any eventuality. After all, the universe was full of mysteries and unexpected challenges, and Zorro's presence was, without a doubt, an unknown that needed to be clarified. Please, there is something that intrigues me. What is the true objective of Zorro, the Saiyan God coming here? A valid question, Mr. Beerus. We don't know much about Zorro or his intentions, but it's clear he came looking for challenges and fights. That is obvious, but it seems like there's something more behind it. Why did he choose to challenge Saiyans in particular? That is a good question. Maybe there's something about your own history or Saiyan legends that appeals to you. It would be that he's seeking to understand Saiyan power in a unique way. Well, whatever the reason, I hope it doesn't cause unnecessary problems in my universe. <laughs> Let's wait and see how things turn out, Mr. Beerus. Zorn could be an interesting challenger, and perhaps he has a lot to teach us about Saiyan potential in the imbalance of the multiverse. You know, it could be interesting for both of us. As Beerus and Whis continue to ponder Zorn's intentions, the confrontation between Goku and the Saiyan God on Earth intensified, and the mystery surrounding Zorn persisted. The future remained uncertain, full of challenges and possibilities. Mr. Beerus, I have a theory. In the Zoran universe of his timeline, the Saiyan realm is often threatened. It is possible that he came here to seek help and allies in the form of Saiyan warriors. So, you're suggesting he came to us seeking assistance in protecting his Saiyan kingdom? Exactly! Zorum may be facing a serious threat and is searching for powerful allies who can help and preserve his pupil's future. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, maybe he's a potential ally rather than a threat. We need to evaluate his intentions carefully. Of course, Mr. Beerus. We will closely follow the development of events and try to better understand Zorum's motivations. With this new perspective, Beerus and Whis began to consider that Zorum might be seeking help rather than posing a threat. The mystery surrounding his presence on Earth began to unravel, revealing a possible, unexpected alliance on the horizon. If he wants to help, he should have come to me, the God of Destruction. When did he come here? As I told you before, Mr. Beerus, he came here. <laughs> and then we said to him to go to the Warriors, you know? <laughs> Well, Mr. Beerus, perhaps he chose to come to Earth's Saiyans for a specific reason. It's possible he has a potential, a personal reason for seeking out Saiyan warriors, considering this planet is known for being the home of Goku and Vegeta, two of the most powerful Saiyans in the universe. I see what you mean, Whis. He may be aware of the power of these Saiyans and desire their specific help. Exactly! Let's closely follow Zoran's interaction with Goku and Vegeta. This could give us clues about his true intentions and the threat he faces in his universe. <sighs> Very well. Let's give him the chance to explain his reasons and, if necessary, offer our help. With this new perspective, Beerus and Whis were willing to consider Zorin's intentions more carefully. The meeting between the Saiyan God and the Saiyan Warriors from Earth promised to reveal a lot about the challenges and alliances in the multiverse. Zorin, in the midst of the fight, with Goku, decided to reveal his true power. A golden divine aura began to surround him, indicating that he was activating the Super Saiyan God transformation. A Saiyan God transformation? That is amazing! Zoron, now in a Saiyan God form, looked even more imposing and powerful. His energy radiated an overwhelming divine feeling. Now the real fight begins! Goku! <laughs> Great! 
I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. The battle between Goku and Zoro entered a new level, with both warriors exploring their powers to the fullest. Zoro's Saiyan God transformation added an element of mystery to the fight, and the attacks and counterattacks became even more intense. As the two fought furiously, the training ground shook from the clash of their divine energies. Zoro revealed his Saiyan God transformation, surrounding himself in a golden divine aura that radiated power and majesty. Goku looked impressed while Zoran explained, This is my Saiyan God form, Goku. It is the height of our potential, a manifestation of divine power. However, upon seeing Zoran's transformation, Vegeta couldn't contain his laughter. <laughs> Do you think this is impressive? I can't believe you're calling this a divine form! Goku, surprised by Vegeta's reaction, tried to contain his laughter as well. <laughs> Vegeta, don't be so critical! He's just showing what he can do! <laughs> alright, alright, Kakarot. Let's continue the fight and see if this <clears throat> Saiyan God form is really all that. The fight between Goku and Zara continued with Zoran's Saiyan God transformation adding a new element out to the battle. Vegeta, even though he laughed at the appearance of the transformation, was eager to see what Zoran was capable of and planned to face him next. The training field was filled with laughter and energy as the battle unfolded. Goku, feeling Zoran's incredible energy and strength in his Saiyan God form, could not contain his excitement. His laughter resounded across the training field, echoing across the earth. <laughs> That's amazing! Zoro, you are really, truly powerful! Goku's excitement was so intense that the earth began to shake beneath his feet. Zoro, on the other hand, was surprised and a little scared when he felt a strange change in Goku's energy. What's going on? Huh? What is that? In an instant... Goku's aura began to change. It became more intense, brighter, and began to envelop him completely. Goku activated his ultimate form, Ultra Instinct, an incredibly powerful form of combat. Now the fight really began Zoran. Zoran, looking at Goku's Ultra Instinct, realized that the challenge was about to become even more formidable. The fight between them would enter a new level of intensity with Goku in his most powerful form, leaving Zoro with a difficult choice to make. Goku, in his Ultra Instinct form, moved with supernatural agility and grace. He easily dodged Zoran's blow, sliding smoothly to avoid his attacks. Zoro, while struggling to keep up with Goku's speed, was fascinated by the Saiyan's ability. Amazing! Your Ultra Instinct is something surprising, Goku! Hmm. Thank you, Zoran. It's a difficult technique to master, but I'm working on it. Zoran continued to fight, determined to do his best against Goku. But it was clear that the power of Goku's Ultra Instinct was an overwhelming force. The fight continued to unfold as Zoran tried to learn from the experience and unlock the secret behind Goku's Ultra Instinct. Goku, while in his Ultra Instinct form, accumulated a massive amount of energy and, I and launched a gigantic Kamehameha towards Zoro. The attack created a spectacular explosion of energy that lit up the training field. Vegeta, watching the scene with wide eyes, was shocked by the magnitude of Goku's attack. What the hell was that thing, Kakarot? This attack is colossal! Goku's Kamehameha approached Zoro with overwhelming force and the earth shook under the intensity of the explosion. The fight was reaching its peak and the Saiyans were ready to give their all. Zoro, facing Goku's powerful Kamehameha, began to laugh with an expression of satisfaction. As the energy blast approached them, he raised his hand and dispelled the attack with an elegant movement. <laughs> Excellent, Goku! It was exactly as I imagined! Goku, surprised by Zoran's reaction, slowed his attack and dispelled his Ultra Instinct form. Are you satisfied with the fight? <laughs> yes, I am. It was an incredible fight. And you are a truly powerful warrior. Vegeta, still perplexed by the situation, approached. 
What do you mean, Zorum? I came looking for challenges and to better understand the potential of Saiyans. And this fight showed me a lot. Now that I'm satisfied, I think it's time for us to wrap up. The fight between Goku and Zorin came to an end, and Zorin expressed his contentment with the confrontation. It seemed like he had found what he was looking for, and the situation took an unexpected turn. Vegeta, still suspicious, approached Zorin questioning him directly. Zorum, it's time for you to tell us the truth. Why did you come here to Earth? We already realized that you are not from this universe. Zorum looked at Vegeta with a serious expression, recognizing that he could no longer hide his intentions. Very well. You're right. I am not from this universe. I come from an alternate reality where Saiyans faced constant threats. And I'm looking for help. My timeline is in danger, and I needed to find exceptional Saiyan warriors to help me protect our kingdom. I understand. You are facing serious challenges in your timeline. And do you think we can help? Indeed. I believe you can make a difference. Please help me train and strengthen my skills. Our alternative reality depends on it. Zorin's revelation about its origins and motives left Goku and Vegeta at a crossroads. They now had to decide whether to help Zorin in his quest to protect the Saiyan Kingdom in an alternate reality. Zorin continued to explain his situation, revealing a crucial detail. The real threat to our Saiyan Kingdom is my own brother, Zakin. He has become an extremely powerful being, but he's using his power to subjugate and dominate our people. He has become a cruel dictator in our reality, and the situation is becoming unsustainable. Goku and Vegeta, upon hearing about Zakin's tyranny, understood the gravity of the situation. If your brother is the real threat, then we have to do something about it. Let's help you become stronger and together we'll face this threat. Hmm. We can't allow a Saiyan to abuse his power like that. We're with you, Zorun. <laughs> Thank you, Goku and Vegeta. Your help means a lot to me in our kingdom. We will train and practice to face Sakin when the time comes. With an alliance form and a clear goal in mind, Goku and Vegeta and Zorin were now united to face the threat posed by Sakin and to protect Zorin's Saiyan kingdom in their alternative reality. The future was full of challenges but also of hope. Beerus and Whis, after a brief observation of the situation, appeared on Earth. Beerus looked at Zorin with a smile on his face and made a comment. <laughs> Whis, you were right when you said Zoro needed help. Looks like he's not a threat after all. It's always good to trust my intuition, Mr. Beerus. Zoro looked at Beerus and Whis, feeling relief at their presence. God of Destruction Beerus. Whis, the angel, thank you for showing up. I'm here seeking help to face the threat posed by my brother, Sakin. If he's threatening your sane realm, then it is an issue that must be addressed. Let's help you become stronger and face this threat together. Thank you very much, God of Destruction Beerus and Whis. Your help will be invaluable. With the arrival of Beerus and Whis, the alliance between the Saiyan warriors and the gods took shape. And the threat posed by Zakin was about to face formidable opposition. The fate of the Saiyan Kingdom of Zorun was now in the hands of powerful allies. Beerus laughed and made a surprising statement. <laughs> Goku and Vegeta are my disciples, and I have confidence in their potential. I will not get involved in this situation, however. They will be more than enough to help Zorum face his brother. I understand, Lord Beerus. I will be grateful for Goku and Vegeta's help. You can count on us, Zorum. Let's train and prepare to face a kin. Let's show this Akin guy what it means to be a true Saiyan. With Beerus' decision not to get involved, Goku and Vegeta took it upon themselves to train Zorun and face Akin's threat. The mission was defined, and the Saiyan warriors were ready to face the challenge that lay ahead. Goku, in his Ultra Instinct form, and Vegeta, in his Ultra Ego form, have raised their powers to an unimaginable level. Their energies radiated an incredible, powerful, and transcendental aura. Zorun, impressed and determined, smiled at the display of power from his new allies. Now we're ready. Let's go to my timeline and resolve this threat once and for all. 
The union of the three Saiyans and their transcendented forms represented an unparalleled strength. Together, they prepared to face a kin and protect the Saiyan kingdom of Zoron in their alternative timeline. The fate of that universe depended on the success of this formidable team, and the future was full of challenges and promise. Goku and Vegeta prepared to enter the portal created by Zoron, ready to face the threat posed by Zakin in their timeline. Before they disappeared into the portal, Beerus watched and offered words of encouragement. With his typical sense of humor, Good luck, my disciples. You'll need it. <laughs> the portal closed behind Goku and Vegeta, and they found themselves in a new world, ready to face the challenges that awaited them. As Beerus watched them, the God of Destruction knew that his disciples were ready to face any threat, no matter how formidable. The universe was about to test the strength and determination of the most powerful Saiyans. Goku, Vegeta, and Zoron arrived at Zoron's Saiyan Kingdom timeline. As Zoron began to talk about his kingdom, everyone was eager to understand the situation. However, when faced with vision of an alternative timeline, a feeling of amazement came over them. Welcome to my Saiyan Kingdom. It was once a place of pride and strength. However, however, what they saw before them was heartbreaking. The Saiyan Kingdom of Zorum was in ruins, with destroyed cities, devastated landscapes, and oppressed Saiyans everywhere. Zakin, Zorum's brother, had truly brought chaos and tyranny to this reality. What happened here? This is unbelievable. How could a Saiyan do this to his own people? Zakin used his power to subjugate everyone and impose his will. This is the result of this tyranny. The dark vision of Zoran's Saiyan kingdom left everyone stunned. Now, they were faced with a truly formidable challenge, and the fight to restore the Saiyan's freedom and dignity was about to begin. The fusion of Blue Serenity, Goku, and the union of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan Blue. After intense training and battles, Goku was looking for a way to increase his abilities to the maximum. He was determined to achieve a form that united power of the Super Saiyan Blue and the state of pure divine energy, with the intuition and serenity of Ultra Instinct. Goku dedicated himself to understanding every aspect of these forms and eventually had an epiphany. During intense training alongside Whis, Goku had a clear vision of the fusion of these powers. He saw how he could harmonize the energies of Super Saiyan Blue with the mental clarity and serenity of Ultra Instinct. With this revelation, Goku began working on this new form, a fusion of the highest divine energies with the inner peace of Ultra Instinct. After months of hard training and intense focus, in an isolated place, he began to concentrate his energies, feeling the strength of Ultra Instinct and the intensity of Super Saiyan Blue. <sighs> now, I will merge these powers to reach a new level. He began the transformation. His aura, a mix of gleaming blue and sparkling silver, completely enveloped him. His eyes had an intense determination and his mind was serene and clear. Upon reaching this new form, Goku was in a state where his strength was amplified enormously. His movements were precise and fast and his energies were great. It was a perfect symbiosis between the explosive powers of Super Saiyan Blue and the calculated calm of Ultra Instinct. Whis, watching closely, marveled at Goku's success. <laughs> you did it, dear Lord Goku! Now you are the embodiment of harmony and divine strength! I'm so proud! Thank you, Whis. I will use this form to protect our universe and everyone I love. So calm, so serene. And so, Goku mastered the fusion of Super Saiyan Blue with Ultra Instinct, a fusion of divine powers that represented not only physical strength, but also the essence of balance between brute strength and serenity. The universe was safe, and Goku continued his journey, readily facing any challenge that crossed his path with a surprising new form. The Divine Spectacle. Goku reveals his new fusion to Zenosama. After mastering the fusion between Super Saiyan Blue and Ultra Instinct, Goku was eager to share his new transformation with Zenosama, the supreme ruler of the universes. He believed that this form could not only impress Zenosama, 
but also demonstrate the responsibility and commitment the warriors had in protecting the multiverse. Goku, accompanied by Whis and Beerus, went to Zenosama's palace. Arriving there, he respectfully greeted the supreme ruler. Hey, Zenchan! I would like to show you a new transformation that I've recently acquired. I believe this could be useful in protecting the universe. Zenosama, always interested in new things, agreed it enthusiastically. Oh, show me, show me, show me! I want to see! Goku concentrated and began to transform into the fusion of Super Saiyan Blue and Ultra Instinct. The bright and gleaming aura enveloped him, creating an imposing presence. This is the fusion between Super Saiyan Blue and Ultra Instinct. It is a symbiosis of explosive power with serenity. Xenosama was delighted with the display and applauded excitedly. That is incredible! I loved it, I loved it! Goku, you are a formidable warrior! Thank you, Zenchan. <laughs> I will use this form to ensure peace and harmony in the universes. Yeah! Keep trying hard and keep us entertained! Goku, pleased to have impressed Xenosama, felt a new responsibility in his heart. He realized that this new form was more than just a manifestation of power. It was a tool to unite the universes and ensure a secure future. With Xenosama's blessing, Goku set out, determined to use this new transformation to protect the multiverse and inspire others to do the same. His journey had never been more exciting, and he knew that the future was full of challenges that he would face with courage and wisdom, always carrying the flame of hope whenever he went. Heavenly Potential Daishikan envisions Goku's destiny. After witnessing Goku's unique transformation where he combined Super Saiyan Blue with Ultra Instinct, Daishikan began to notice something extraordinary. The merging of these powers was not just a show of strength, it was a glimpse of Goku's heavenly potential. Goku, you possess exceptional potential, and you know it. This fusion represents something much, much more. It is a step towards a form of transcendence. Goku was intrigued and curious to better understand what Daishikan meant. Transcendence? What do you mean, Daishikan? Daishikan explained that with improved training and understanding, Goku could elevate himself to a level beyond mere warriors. He could become a celestial being, a divine entity capable of protecting the balance and peace of the multiverse. You are already a powerful warrior, Son Goku. But with the right guidance, you can rise to a state where your presence will be felt in every corner of the universe. Goku, always looking to ways to surpass himself and protect his loved ones, became determined to seek his transcendence. I accept the challenge. I will work hard to become the celestial being and protect the universe. Whis, who was present, expressed his support for Goku and agreed to help him on this journey of self-discovery and transcendence. Over the years, Goku trained tirelessly under the guidance of Whis and Daishikan. He began to understand the true depths of the ki and divine energy. Gradually, Goku began to rise his consciousness and harmonize his power with the cosmos. After much training and meditation, Goku finally reached a state where his energy was pure. His presence transcended the limits of the physical. He had transformed into a celestial being, a protector of the universe, whose power and compassion reverberated throughout the multiverse. Thus, Goku found his purpose as a celestial being, dedicated to keeping peace and protecting all living things. His legacy as the legendary warrior with a pure heart now took on a new dimension, and he continued his journey to eliminate the cosmos with his light. Dance of the Gods Whis challenges Goku to a divine battle. After Goku became a celestial being and transcended his previous limitations, Whis felt it was time to test the limits of Goku's new power. He decided to challenge him to combat to assess the extent of his revolution and improvements. You might have become a celestial being, Lord Goku, but there's still much more to learn. Let's have some friendly combat to explore your new abilities. Goku accepted the challenge with enthusiasm. He knew facing Whis would be a valuable learning experience. The battlefield was prepared in a distant and safe place, where the intensity of the fighting would not cause damage to the surrounding universe. Goku's divine aura shined brightly, revealing his transcendental state. Remember Goku, true strength comes from harmony between mind and body. Be conscious of every movement.
The fight began with an explosion of energy. Goku and Whis exchanging incredibly fast and powerful blows. Goku demonstrated his mastery in this new form, maintaining mental serenity even under the pressure of the fight. The battle continued, and Goku showed off his enhancements by channeling the fusion of Super Saiyan Blue and Ultra Instinct. He was more agile and powerful than ever, managing to pressure Whis. You are doing great, Goku! <laughs> now, try to anticipate my movements. The fight intensified, with Goku and Whis reaching new heights of power. Goku, with his calm and mind pure heart, managed to surpass Whis on several occasions. Whis was impressed with Goku's evolution. In the end, after an intense exchange of blows, Goku was panting but still was smiling. Whis recognized Goku's dedication and strength. <sighs> <laughs> you have exceeded my expectations, Goku. You have become a true celestial warrior. Goku thanked Whis for the challenge and guidance. <laughs> Thank you, Whis. I will continue training and improving myself to protect our universe. Ah, let's have a drink and eat some food on Earth if you want to. Thus, Goku continued his journey of self-discovery and improvement. Always ready to face new challenges and protect the balance of the universe as a true celestial warrior. The Rebirth of Bardock, the Saiyan who defied fate. In an alternate universe, Bardock, Goku's father, or Kakarot, faced Frieza on the fateful day of the planet Vegeta's destruction. Unlike the original timeline, this time, fate smiled on Bardock's side in an unexpected way. During the battle against Frieza's forces, Bardock demonstrated an incredible strength and unstoppable determination. He used all his power to fight the tyrant and his troops. Frieza, surprised by Bardock's resistance, decided to face him person. The battle was intense and epic, with Bardock displaying power even more incredible than he had ever imagined. You will not destroy our planet with impunity, Frieza! The battle was so fierce that Frieza himself began to doubt whether he could beat Bardock. However, he ultimately prevailed, but not without paying a heavy price. Bardock, despite being injured and weakened, managed to inflict a powerful blow on Frieza before falling. This blow resulted in a serious injury to Frieza, weakening him and forcing him to flee into space. Luckily, Bardock didn't die in a planet's explosion. He was rescued by an emergency Saiyan spacecraft. Upon awakening, he was faced with a new purpose protecting the Saiyan bloodline and ensuring that the race would never face Frieza's oppressions again. Bardock set out on a journey through space, seeking allies and forging new alliances. He became a legend among the surviving Saiyans, a symbol of hope and resistance against tyranny. Over time, Bardock led the resistance against the remaining forces of Frieza's army. He became a respected and revered figure among Saiyans, inspiring many to join his cause. Eventually, the Saiyan race recovered and prospered, and Bardock left a lasting legacy as a hero who defied fate. He was never forgotten and his history was passed down from generation to generation, inspiring future generations to fight for a better future. Guardian of the Timelines, Bardock and the Call of the Kaioshin of Time After the devastating battle against Frieza and his journey to protect the remaining Saiyans, Bardock's destiny took an unexpected turn. While traveling through space, he was suddenly enveloped in a mysterious time distortion. Bardock found himself in an unknown location, surrounded by an ethereal aura. The Kaioshin time, Krona, appeared before him. Bardock, you have demonstrated extraordinary courage and strength. I am here to offer you a mission of great importance. Bardock was surprised and intrigued. He listened carefully to the words of the Kaioshin of time who explained the existence of timelines and the need to protect them against evil interference. Your determination and strength make you an ideal candidate to become one of our guardians of time, protecting the balance and the timelines. With a renewed sense of purpose, Bardock accepted the offer and became a timekeeper. He was trained in the knowledge of a temporal flows, learned to identify anomalies and intervene when necessary. Bardock distinguished himself as a dedicated guardian, protecting timelines against threats from across the multiverse. He demonstrated an unexpected ability to anticipate and neutralize interference at different points in history while maintaining the integrity of time. Throughout his journeys as the Guardians of Time, 
Bardock not only protected the existence of history of his own people, the Saiyans, but also collaborated with other heroes and fought against powerful adversaries who sought to alter the fate of the universes. His past as a Saiyan warrior combined with his determination as a guardian of time has made Bardock a legend in both spheres of power and temporality. He honored his role by ensuring that the balance of time was maintained and the timelines remained protected for the good of all beings. His journey continued as the universes watched knowing that Bardock, the guardian of time, was ever vigilant. The Unbreakable Connection Bardock and the Memory of Kakarot as Bardock continued his mission as the Guardian of Time, protecting the timelines from interferences and threats, he could not escape the memories of his son, Kakarot. The connection between father and son was deep and unbreakable, even across the cosmos and the passage of time. In a moment of reflection, Bardock found himself in a peaceful place in a temporal void, where he could meditate and remember his life and that of his son. He delved into his memories, reliving the moments they shared. He remembered the days on planet Vegeta, when Kakarot was just a baby and was sent to Earth. Bardock knew that his choice was his son's best chance of survival in the face of the planet's imminent destruction. Kakarot, my son, you have become an incredible warrior. I know you're in good hands and that you're making a difference. As he remembered Kakarot, Bardock felt a mixture of pride and longing. Proud to see his son become one of the greatest warriors the universe has ever known and nostalgic for not having been there to fully witness his journey. However, Bardock knew that his decision to protect the timelines was crucial to ensuring the safety of future for Kakarot and all the existence. He felt that by protecting the timelines, he was also protecting the future of his son and all other beings. My son Kakarot, know that even I protect time, I am always with you in spirit. I love you, my son, and I will do my best to ensure a bright future for all of us. This memory strengthened Bardock's resolve as the guardian of time. He forged ahead with his mission, knowing that by protecting time, he was indirectly contributing for a safe and great future for his son, Kakarot, and the entire universe. Their unbreakable connection continued to inspire him to be the best time guardian he could be. While the universe watched, filled with gratitude and respect for Bardock and his unconditional love for his family. The look beyond time. Bardock and Goku's vision of the future. As Bardock continued his journey as a timekeeper, one day he experienced an extraordinary vision. He was enveloped by a cosmic energy that transcended time and space. In an instant, he saw the future of his son, Goku, unfolding before his eyes. He saw Goku in epic battles, facing formidable enemies and surpassing his limits. He witnessed the powerful transformation his son achieved, including the legendary Ultra Instinct. Kakarot, my son, <laughs> you have become an astonishing warrior. Your power will become truly inspiring. He saw Goku achieving Ultra Instinct for the first time, his energy flowing in perfect harmony, overcoming any challenge that came his way. <laughs> that form is truly incredible! <laughs> Your strength and ability to adapt fills me with pride! Goku continued his journey, always looking for new challenges and ways to improve his technique and strength. Bardock felt a mix of emotions as he watched his son's future unfold. Upon reaching the moment when Goku fully mastered Ultra Instinct, Bardock felt an explosion of emotions. He was amazed at the power Goku had achieved. Kakarot, you did it! You achieved Ultra Instinct, a form few can master. You are truly a hero. Seeing Goku's entire journey, Bardock felt a mixture of pride, longing, and love. He knew that his son had become an inspiration to the universe and a symbol of hope for everyone. Akarat, my dear son, you are proof that love and determination can overcome any obstacle. I am forever proud of you. Goku's vision of the future reinforced Bardock's conviction in his mission as a guardian of time. He felt an even greater responsibility to protect time and ensure that the great future he saw for his son became a reality. And so, Bardock moved forward, inspired by the vision and determined to do everything in his power to ensure the well-being of Goku and the entire universe. To be continued. 
So hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you arrive exposing it in your comments so that we can enter to that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button, and subscribe yet to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is so much fun.